If you're a low end user and you're looking to boost your FPS in Roblox, I got you guys because I'm going to try out viral FPS boost tutorials on Roblox so you guys don't have to. To make sure this experiment is consistent, after every FPS boost is done, I'm going to make sure I do a clean install of Roblox every time. This makes sure that nothing goes wrong and it makes sure that the experiment goes through and everything as well. As you guys can see here, I have a tutorial from the most consistent Roblox FPS tutorials in the scene and we're going to be trying all of these out, following a step by step process of each video and each tutorial. Tutorial. Our FPS right now, before any optimizations have been enabled, is 300 to 400 FPS on this good desktop. And we are going to be seeing what the after effects of these optimizations that we deal with are. Without further ado, let's get right into the first one. The first person that we're going to be going through to see if the FPS boost is accurate is um Xvapa. He's a very good friend of mine, and I hope this actually works. Um, because if not, I'm going to be scared. But you know, how to increase FPS in Roblox and fits lag. This was a video that was made 16 hours ago. As you guys know, I don't want to fits lag, but I do want to increase FPS for the sake of you guys. If you guys want to see me do a more accurate version of this video, by the way, I will do it on my laptop. I just don't have a capture card, so I cannot do any of this on the laptop. So someone please send me a capture card. Now it's Vapa's video consists of cleaning your desktop up, debloating your windows and disabling some background apps. On top of that, it involves using a power plan, which might be essential for your video game. He actually has us download this ultimate windows utility, which should in turn help us increase our performance of our windows. But there's something that you guys have to know about this okay before even doing any of this utility stuff you guys are going to want to make sure you guys do a windows restore point and we'll make one at least to ensure that nothing fucks up because if you end up doing this without a windows restore point and something messes up that's on you all right so i have it installed uh clicked on tweaks i added the performance profile now that should in turn oh right here it's already enabled wow that's actually crazy it just automatically enabled that that's amazing boom that's done and then he was also saying that your discord might be causing your fps to also fuck up a little bit which it does make sense your discord actually does use gpu power if you have your hardware acceleration enabled and if you have it disabled it won't really rely on your gpu it will rely more on your cpu but if you guys don't have a gpu and only a cpu then at that point i think it might be safe to just turn off discord so i'm gonna quit discord right here in my taskbar we'll get into a game all right guys we are back into the game and i really can't say i see much of a difference but i'm gonna be honest we're actually it's getting more consistent. The FPS is definitely staying more consistent. So I think I actually saw an improvement. But for you guys who are trying to take a bigger improvement into your performance, let's say you guys go with Etvapa's FPS boost tutorial, right? On top of that, you know, I have 1920 by 1080. Let me just go to like a nice little 1280 by 720 just for you guys to see that will lead us with this as you guys can see we are being pushed into the 400s to the 500s so a decrease in resolution will actually increase your fps along with it so if you guys are following the etvac tutorial you guys could go along with that now that we're done with that tutorial let's take a look at another tutorial and this tutorial is going to be fluxus tutorial which is another well-known fps roblox youtuber and oh my gosh my game was running at the 600s for a second anyways he is a well-known roblox youtuber who makes a ton of fps content now i know i said i was going to do a clean reset of my roblox but so far we haven't had any modification to roblox yet apart from the fps on capping that i've done earlier this is fetch this is video best fps boost for low-end pc and it claims to go from 60 to 999 fps which we all know that's not actually happening that's just for the thumbnail guys let's be honest all right so fetch has mentioned that block drive version 2.9.1 actually has a fast flag editor and all of the mods kept in it and Vapa has also mentioned this before but he failed to mention it in this video i guess which makes sense if roblox did remove fast flags and i'm pretty sure they did remove them permanently now but regardless of this fetch made this video two days ago so i'm gonna take his word for it and we'll see if there's any changes that are actually made with this now as you guys see we have block trap version 2.9.1 and this was the version that was working before they removed all of the you know juicy settings as you guys see my frame rate limit 9999 uh that didn't work so i had to go into roblox's settings and you know change it so when that's disable 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 and since flux recommended using this i would assume this worked i'll take his word for it at least but you know i still have the rest of the video to get through all right so fetch had a list of fast flags to give all of us but it was a link for ties link i'm not using that besides that let me just copy paste these allow list fast flags from x Papa server these are essentially the same fast flags that fetch has used in his video after getting the fast flags you would go back into block trap open your mods folder and go to your client settings after that you would go to your client app settings right click it open edit in notepad and boom copy paste this boom after doing that you close it you go into the properties of your client app settings folder click 
to read only and apply. This would make sure that Roblox does not change these fast flags at all. This is exactly what Fetch said to do. Okay, don't even mind that error. Like it said, fail to save, right? But as you guys already know, I added the fast flag, so it doesn't matter. Open up Blotstrap again. I'm gonna launch Roblox. Do not update. Thank God Blotstrap is not. And Blotstrap just updated, so I can't even do this. All right, guys, don't mind this. I literally got into Roblox and basically I made my graphics mats. I went on 800 by 600. And I've just realized that Fetch's tutorial might have worked because when I edited um, the fast flag, you see my game looks like butt. Like what? It looks so bad. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is my block shop updated to version 2.1, but I made the client settings read only so that they could not be modified. Meaning that these fast flags are still activated and the changes have been successfully made to our system. As you guys can see right here, I have my graphics and on max. Well, Fetch's tutorial has, I guess, worked surprisingly. And yeah, both these tutorials are actually very effective, but it would be even more effective if you combined the fast flag usage with Xvapa's tutorial, I would assume, right? I still got my discord open. I'm not gonna lie to you. I still got my my Zen browser open. I still got a lot of shit open. So it's not the best in FPS right now, but if everything was closed and if I wasn't recording, it definitely would be a better um, experiment. Nonetheless, we actually got both tutorials to do a certain amount of damage for us. In conclusion, both optimization packs have been very useful and they both are very good at their own thing. But if we were to combine them, they would be more useful than they were initially. What I'm saying is combine Etsvapa and Fetch's optimization packs and you would probably have a way better result than just using one of them alone. I'm really curious to see how this would operate on a shittier PC. And if you guys want me to do that, let me know. All I need to get is a capture card, which I can't afford. I'm actually pretty... But yeah if you guys really enjoyed that video let me know that was it for the video like subscribe peace and that is it take care guys